welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now in this video, we will take a look at the Biofang UV98 Pro dual band handheld transceiver. Now covering from 136 to 174 megahertz and then 400 to 520 megahertz, the UV98 Pro fully covers the two meter and 70 centimeter hand bands, along with PMR and commercial frequencies. The RF output power is rated at 8 watts, but later in the video, we'll check this using an RF power meter, just to be sure. The box contains all of the usual kind of accessories you would expect. However, there was no programming cable supplied with my one. I did, however, purchase a programming cable from Amazon, and that only cost around five UK pounds. Now talking of cost, the current price of the UV98 Pro is around 35 UK pounds, depending on where you purchase it from. So it's not very expensive. Interestingly, the battery does not appear to state the capacity, just the voltage of 7.4 volts. Now what's interesting is that the specifications say that this radio has an IP68 rating, meaning waterproof and dustproof. Maybe we'll test this later in the video. In the hands, the UV98 Pro feels really well built with a nice bit of weight to it. Now on the right side of the radio, you find an accessory port which has a screw secured cover. Now I would presume this is to keep the IP68 rating. The connections on the accessory port are similar to those used by Motorola radios and the likes of, meaning that if you have a UV5R or another Boafang radio, then your programming cable or accessories most likely will not work with the UV98 Pro. On the top of the radio, we have the on and off and volume control, along with the antenna connection, an emergency button, a flashlight white LED, and a status LED, which shows receive and transmit. Now on the left side, we have a PTT, along with a button to activate broadcast radio reception, and the other to turn on the flashlight at the top of the radio. The buttons on the front of the radio have a really good feel, nice and solid with a soft depression. Now each button is also backlit, so nice and easy to view in those low light situations. Now I quite like the middle illuminated green button, not sure why, but it's used to change either frequency or memory channel, depending on what mode the radio is in. Now if you've used the Burfeng radio before, then the menu system on this one will prove to be very familiar with the usual kind of settings that you'd expect from a radio like this. Incidentally, you may notice there is no button to select between memories or VFO mode. To change between memory mode or VFO mode, then you must power off the radio, hold the menu button while powering back on. Now repeating this process, we'll switch to the other mode. Now transmitted audio quality from the UV98 Pro seems to be quite adequate and clear. Now here's an example of using my SDR receiver to receive a transmitted signal from the UV98 Pro. I'm probably only around 5 to 10 meters away. This is M0 DQW. Mike 0 Delta Quebec Whiskey testing audio. This is M0 DQW testing. Mike 0 Delta Quebec Whiskey testing audio. Audio, audio, audio test. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey, you listening? This is Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey, M Zero DQW. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey testing. Testing audio, testing audio. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey testing audio. One, two, three, four, five. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey testing audio, audio, audio on a narrow setting. M0 DQW. Now, as mentioned earlier, the programming cable is not included. Well, for me, it wasn't. However, you will be pleased to know that the popular multi platform programming software Chirp fully supports the programming of the UV98 Pro. So, let's now move on to some power tests. Using my power meter with the 50 ohm dummy load attached to the rear, we first transmitted a carrier on 145 megahertz. The UV98 Pro has three power levels, low, medium, and high. Now, low power appears to output just under 400 milliwatts, while medium power outputs around 1.8 watts. High power, the highest power setting, appears to output just 3.5 watts, 
which is a far cry from the 8 watts stated in the specifications. I guess we didn't really expect anything else. You will be pleased to know that I performed this test on a fully charged battery though, just to be sure. Now moving on up to this 70 centimeter band, we will select a frequency of 430 megahertz. Now low power sees an output of around 600 milliwatts, medium power sees around two watts, and high power, the highest setting, sees an output of around 3.5 watts. Again, lower than that advertised specification. Now we'll also perform the same test on 435 megahertz, 438 megahertz, and then the UK PMR frequencies on 446 megahertz. Now all of which with the same power outputs as 430 megahertz. So I also hooked up the UV98 Pro to my tiny SA Ultra Spectrum Analyzer. I set the radio to low power and enabled the harmonic feature within the tiny SA. Now on screen is the results with feeding 400 milliwatts through a 10 dB attenuator. Now I also perform the same test on 435 megahertz, low power on the radio with an output of 600 milliwatts and fed through a 10 dB attenuator. Again, on the screen are the results. Feel free to pause the video to take a closer look. Now, as mentioned earlier, this radio has an IP rating of IP68, so it should be waterproof. Let's put this to the test. So first, I'll just make sure that it's working by opening up a couple of local repeaters. Then I'll plunge it into a small bucket of rainwater and leave it there for a few seconds. Notice that I left the radio powered on and we can see the illuminated green LED through the rippling water. Now after a few seconds, I took the radio back out and then tried using the radio to open up some local repeaters. Thankfully, the radio is still working and it's working rather well. Well, there we go, guys. That's the UV98 Pro from Baofeng. Let me know if you've got one of these radios. I don't see too much information about them on the interweb. So it's be interesting to see if you guys have heard of this radio before. Or maybe there's an alternative radio that looks similar, has the same functions, but it's branded different. Let me know in the comments below. Until the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.